We intend to seal off this burrow. Then we intend to squeeze it. First, we are broadening the scope of Canada's anti-money laundering and terrorist financing rules so that they cover crowdfunding platforms and the payment service providers they use. These changes cover all forms of transactions, including digital assets, such as cryptocurrencies. The illegal blockades have highlighted the fact that crowdfunding platforms and some of the payment service providers they use are not fully captured under the Proceeds of Crime and Terrorist Financing Act. They're going to force what they want. What they want is chaos, chaos backslash war. How are they gonna do that? Like this. The government is issuing an order with immediate effect under the Emergencies Act, authorizing Canadian financial institutions to temporarily cease providing financial services where the institution suspects that an account is being used to further the illegal blockades and occupations. This order covers both personal and corporate accounts. Third, we are directing Canadian financial institutions to review their relationships with anyone involved in the illegal blockades and report to the RCMP or CSIS. So what she just said secretly was, this worked out perfect for us because we knew three weeks ago that when we said, if you don't have a shot in three days, you can't do your job anymore. We knew it would cause a reaction. The reaction was the freedom blockade. Once the freedom blockade showed up, they started calling them insurgents, occupiers, etc. And then they pull out their weapon that they always use, the banks, and now they're saying they're going to take your money, private or corporate. What is that going to do? It's going to leave you no choice but to, let's hear it, fight. How strange is that? As of today, a bank or other financial service provider will be able to immediately freeze or suspend an account without a court order. In doing so, they will be protected against civil liability for actions taken in good faith. Federal government institutions will have a new broad authority to share relevant information with banks and other financial service providers to ensure that we can all work together to put a stop to the funding of these illegal blockades. I'm out. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God.